As discussed in the other videos, there's a wider landscape to consider when assessing your options in responding to harassment. It is therefore always important to get legal advice to make sure that you're well informed of both the options and also the potential consequences of pursuing a legal claim. There are different ways in which you can find that legal support. And in this video, we'll take a look at the different avenues that are out there for this. First, your employer might be able to assist you if you were harmed in the context of your work for them. What they're contractually obliged to assist you with may depend on the relationship that you have with them formally. Were you a permanent employee or were you a freelancer? However, that there's no legal obligation for them to assist you doesn't mean that there is no moral obligation and also doesn't mean that they do not want to help you. So it's always good to have a conversation about this. Besides, for example, giving you access to in-house legal counsel who might be able to provide initial advice on your case or point the way to others who can, um, your employer might also be able to support your case in other ways by providing public support and drawing public attention that is positive to the case that you are planning to undertake. Unions are another potential option. They often provide legal advice that extends beyond the employment context, so it's worthwhile looking into whether or not they can offer you advice in your specific situation. Another option is free legal assistance, state finance support, perhaps law clinics that are at universities or citizens' advice bureaus, where you can get legal advice at no cost. Finally, NGOs can be a good source of support and advice. There are many organizations out there that can be of help in the situation of online harassment. Organizations that focus on press freedom, freedom of expression, or women's rights. IPI has listed a number of organizations that you can reach out to, which could provide a good starting point. One of the things that NGOs can potentially assist with is strategic litigation. This is the situation in which you use your individual case to leverage broader change. This is helpful in a couple of ways. One is that it alleviates the burden upon you as an individual only in fighting your case. You will have support of others that can advocate on your behalf. And second, the misery, basically, that you have suffered in your specific situation can actually lead to a positive result for your peers and your colleagues field-wide. And that can be a rewarding outcome of what can be a very painful personal situation to begin with. The summary of all this is to inform yourself well of the options and try to identify the right partners that can help pursue the course of action that is right for you. There's no guarantee that the legal route is the right one for you or in general, but it's an avenue that's worth exploring and investigating.